going to quickly show you how to create a photo book in Snapfish. If your photos are sitting in the photos library on your Mac, on your Apple computer. So what you do, you go to snapfish.com.au if you're in Australia and that's what you get. So you go to photo books and when you hover over that, all the options come up. So you choose whatever you want from here. Um, I'm just going to pick one, doesn't matter which one. And you can then also see, you know, you have different themes. So you can just go through them and pick a design that you like and make this photo book. Click here. And you will have to have an account with Snapfish. It doesn't cost you anything. Just sign up with them and then you can log in. If you don't have an account yet, just do that first. So we're logging in and it's preparing my book. So this is happening all online. You have to do it online. You can't do it offline. Now immediately gives me the option to get the photos and you click on that and you can see there's different options where you can go and find your photos but today what we want is on my computer so click there and here you can rename your album so you can make a new album let's call that album one or if you already have an album you can add photos to an existing album or continue to work on an album. So when you design an album, you can leave it and do other stuff in between and then come back and your album will still be there and you can finish it or continue. So we're creating a new album. We've got the date here. You can change that by clicking on this little hand and just pick any date really. Select photos. And that opens your finder. So when you scroll down, um, you should see this, media and photos. And when you click on photos, that will access your photo library that you have. So you can see I'm standing on photos. So that's like the top folder. So all my photos are in here and I can pick and choose what I want in the album. If you have done some prep work within photos and maybe already created an album in photos, you can go to your album and find it here. So you see I've got all my albums here. So when I click on one, the photos are shown that are in that album and that's in the photos app, right? So you could do that to speed things up a bit and prepare that photo book in your photo library. Pick the best photos that you want, create an album and then this will come up here. And if you do that, what you then do, you choose the album and within that you click on a photo and click on command A to select all you choose and they will be uploaded which takes a little moment depending on how fast your internet is obviously and how big your files are almost there And I'll show you another way in a minute if you don't have a, an album prepared in photos. Right, okay. Here we go. Okay, so now I want to add more photos. So I'll click on get more photos again on my computer. And now you can see it 
gives me the existing album that's the right one I want to add it to the one that I just did which is album one okay so select photos and again this will come up and I go back to photos but this time not in an album but I go to that top folder and now you can pick your photos from here so what you do is you simply click on the first one you want then you go through and you go and find another photo you click on the command key and you stay on the command key and click with your mouse so you've got two photos selected and then I'll scroll through okay, and go and find more photos I want that and I'm not going to choose more because it will make it slow when we upload. But you can choose heaps of different photos by using the command click to select several photos at the same time. Once you've got that, you can let go of the command key and just click choose. And once again, it will upload them. Hopefully not too long. Looks like it's a bit faster. And you can see, it tells me here, your project is um, saved. So that all happens automatically while you work on it. Sorry, it's a bit slow today. Almost there. Come on. But they're big files, as you can see, this one was like 8 gigabyte, uh, yeah, megabyte, yeah, not gigabyte. Um, so let's say that's all we, we've done, and we've got all the photos we want, and now you can see here on the left-hand side how the, the feed has been filled. So the only thing now I need to do, so you've got your design that you have chosen previously, you simply drag and drop the photos into these placeholders. That didn't quite go in. That doesn't work the way I want it. Hold on. So let's delete that. Okay, let's try that again. So drag it, and you see how that white line comes up, and then I'll let go, and now it's filled the frame. So take another one, drag it in here again, the white line comes up there around the frame. There we go. And you can go into the album and just continue with that and drag your photos where you want them. And I'm not going to go into formatting and editing photos once they're in and all that. The last thing I will say though is that you can see here that as soon as you have used the photo in the album, you will see that little tick here which tells you that you have used that photo because it might not always be, you know, the same sequence that you've imported them so that gives you an indication what's already in there because you don't really want to have a photo in the album um, two times or three times so you do all that um, and once you've done you review and buy and that's it that's how you can import photos directly from your photo library on a Mac into Snapfish that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.